Welcome back to my channel. In today's session, I'm going to be doing cold calling live for the next three hours. I'm going to only show you a portion of it, but I'm going to show you a new technique that I've been developing on how to get potential more sellers. What I'll be doing throughout the session, and you will notice, is that I'll be calling people and sharing information on the, the recently listed home that I just went on a market with. Why am I doing it? You're probably asking yourself. Very simply, by asking a question, I just listed the home in your area, who do you know who would like to move to the area? I'm not using the question that I used in a previous session where I said, we just sold the home, what can I do for you? I'm going now the other way around and I'm trying to get a sense if they might know of someone looking to move to the area or if they are thinking of potentially moving. And how would I know it? I will know it if they were to ask me a question is, how is the market? Oh, by the way, how much did you list at home for? Or how many bedrooms does this, ho this home have? Those are the questions that give me a sense that potentially they're looking to make some sort of a move. So stay with me as I'm doing cold calling. I'm going to be doing it for the next three hours. My goal is going to be to speak to 100 people. I'm going to be setting up at least one appointment and potentially getting one listing. This is my goal when I go live and when I'm going cold calling at any given session. The goal is to be able to generate business. I'm not doing it just for the fun, I'm doing it to generate business. And as this great book will advise you, 1% better every single day. So stay with me and let's get on the fun. Hello, good morning. Good morning. No, they don't want, they picked up the phone, but they don't want to talk. It's perfectly fine. Let's move to the next contact. And by the way, you're probably wondering, to, wondering do I ever leave voicemails? I don't leave voicemails. I let my software I'm using in this case, Mojo, it leaves a pre-recorded voicemail instead of me just leaving it every single time. I just click, drop a message. Or the other option that I'm doing is I'm doing a no contact and I'll be following up with them again in the evening. So let's say I'm getting a voicemail. Instead of leaving an actual message, I'm just pressing no contact and I'll be calling them back later today. So let's get back on the phone. It dials three people at any given time. Whoever picks up the phone gets the opportunity. Good morning, Vadim Vinansky calling with Remax. I just listed the home on Summerage and I'm calling to see if you know of anyone looking to move to the area. Nobody. And if you don't mind me asking, if you were to move, where would you go next? No, you have no plans to move? Okay, thank you so much. Have a great day. So perfect. So he's not looking to move. What I did make a note right away is that I spoke to this gentleman. He's not making to make a move. Follow up with him again in three months. That's my system. Every three months I go by around 10,000 numbers. So my goal at any, at any given time is to dial, I will tell you exactly how many people, is to speak to about 3,000 people. Hello, good morning. Good morning, Vadim Vilansky with Remax. I just listed the home on Summerage, calling to see if you know of anyone looking to move to your area. Not at this moment. It's a two car garage. We priced it at $1.6 million. Yeah, I, I know you guys are on Serene Way. How are you guys doing so far? Keeping it safe and healthy? Yeah, is there anything I can do for you guys? Thank you so much, have a great day. So if she's not interested in doing anything so far, which is perfectly fine, I made a note. I also wrote that she, she speaks Russian, which I speak Russian as well, and I'm going to send her a thank you card later today. 
my goal at any given time is to send out about 10 cards a day. So it's any conversation that I can send that maybe they're thinking to move, maybe they're not, but there is some intention and they've been, she wasn't with me on the phone. I can feel, hello, good morning. Hello, good morning. Vadim calling, how are you? We spoke a while ago. Vadim Vilansky. I just listed the home on Summer Ridge and I'm calling to see how you guys are doing. Excellent, just uh, want to see that, make sure that everyone is good. We have listed the home on Summer Ridge and I was wondering if you know of anyone looking to move to Torian Woods. No, thank you so much, have a great day. He's not looking to, he doesn't know any of anyone. It's perfectly fine, it has a conversation. He now knows who I am and we spoke a few times before that. It's all about making sure that they're aware of my name. And again, 10,000 calls every three months. That's about 3,000 numbers every month. If you take this one, pretty simple. Good morning, Vadim Vilansky calling with Remax. How are you today? It's Vadim Vilansky. I just listed the home on Summer Region. I'm calling to see if, there, if you know of anyone looking to move to the area. And by the way, do you guys have any plans to move potentially? Not at this moment. Do you mind if I was to keep in touch with you? Yeah, sounds great. I will follow up with you again in a few months. Thank you so much, have a good day. No, she's not looking to move, perfectly fine. The next person is going to consider moving. And all I'm doing, by the way, The key is to move to the next number. If they don't want to move, that's perfectly fine. You can't force anyone, but you can definitely go to the next contact. So stay with me as I am going to get a listing appointment today. Hello, good morning. No, voicemail. And when we're talking about listing appointment with a pandemic, I've been doing a lot of Zoom live meetings and it's perfectly fine. I just set up my camera. I share my screen, but you do whatever it takes to get the job done. Even in today's market, we just, we just have to adapt. That's the key, adapting. So let's keep going. You're probably wondering, why am I not dialing physically numbers? I have a program that is just calling certain numbers and it helps me instead of me just dialing it Instead of me dialing one by one, it just does it automatically, makes my life much, much, much easier. And wait a second, productivity, and productivity is the key. Let's keep going. Good morning, Vadim Vilansky calling with Remix. I just listed the home on Summer Ridge and I'm calling to see if you know of anyone looking to move to the area. What about yourself, guys? Do you guys have any plans to move anytime soon? Thank you so much, have a great day. She has no plans to move, perfectly fine. That's a contact. My goal for the day is to speak to 100 people. Good morning, Vadim Vilansky calling. Hello, good morning. Good morning, Vadim Vilansky calling. I just listed the home on Summer Ridge and I'm calling to see if there is anything I can do for you guys. You're not interesting. Thank you so much. Are you guys all safe and healthy? Is there anything else I can do for you? Thank you so much. Have a great Monday. Bye bye. That's it. Just. You try to do everything you can, you can force the conversation, but you do want to make sure that they know who you are because you're going to call them again in three months. Speaking of, by the way, so if I... Sp Hello, good morning. Good morning, Vadim Vilansky calling. I just listed the home on Summer Ridge and I'm calling to see if I can be of any service to you 
or if you know of anyone looking to move to the area. No? Thank you so much. Have a great day. That's it. If my goal is to speak to about 10,000 people every three months, that will be 3,000 contacts a month. I do about calling in about 20 days of the month. That's 166 contacts every single month. And by using Mojo, good morning, Vadim Vidansky calling with Remax, just listed the home on Summeridge, and I'm calling to see if you know of anyone looking to move to the area. Thank you so much, have a great day. The goal is to speak to 166 people every single day. The way I do it is I combine it with cold calling and door knocking so that I kind of just mix things around. So it's not always constantly just cold calling, but it's also door knocking during the same day. And another key is you call in the morning, then you switch things around, you call in the evening. So my Monday, Wednesday, Fridays are mornings. My Tuesdays and Thursdays are my evening sessions. That's what it takes. Nothing else except putting in the work. Let's keep going. Guys, by the way, if you have any questions, comment below, drop me a message in the comment section. I'm happy to answer any of your questions. This is what I do on a regular basis because that's what really generates business. Am I inventing the wheel? Absolutely not. I'm just following systems of other successful people and I just implement it to my business as well. The key in business is whoever speaks to the most amount of people generates the most amount of money. Hello, good morning. Good morning, Vadim Vilansky calling. I just listed the home on Summeridge and I'm calling to see if you know of anyone looking to move to the area. No? How about you guys? Do you have any plans to potentially move at some point? Not at this moment. Just, you know, just so you know, we listed the home at $1.6 million on Summeridge. You're very welcome. Have a great day. Super nice lady. I'm going to keep in touch with her. I'm, I made a note as well to send her a thank you card. So I'm definitely, she's definitely going to see who I am. And I'm pretty sure she already knows who I am. Because I spoke with her about three months ago. What's your routine? Share with me as well. Hello, good morning. Good morning, Vadim Vilansky calling. I just listed the home on Summeridge and I'm calling to see if you know of anyone looking to move to the area. And what about you guys? Do you guys have any plans to move anytime soon? Thank you so much. Have a great day. Bye-bye. She's not looking to move. I asked her the questions. So here is another great question that someone just asked me. Do I use Mike Ferry script? In some cases I do, but I also want to be able to mix things around a little bit so I don't sound like a robot who just reads the script. So every once in a while I will change things around. So three months ago I used the Mike Ferry script. The previous three months I used the Tom Ferry script. Now I'm using, good morning, Vadim Vilansky calling with Remax. Just listed the home on Summeridge and I'm calling to see if I can be of any service to you this year. You're very welcome. And do you guys have any plans to move at any time soon? Thank you so much. Have a great Monday. Bye-bye. Not planning on moving anytime soon. Perfectly fine. I will send her a thank you card so she will see who I am. And so here's another question that someone just asked me. What my thank you card looks like. My thank you card is basically a written card that says, thank you so much for taking my call. It was a pleasure talking to you. Should you need anything in the future, please contact me. And I will attach my business card as well as the postcard of recently sold homes in the area. Good morning, James. My name is Vadim Vilensky. I just listed the home on Summeridge, calling to see if I can be of any service to you this year. 
Thank you so much. Have a great day. Not selling. Now you've probably seen why did I switch the line? It was because she was rushing and I could tell she's trying to get off the phone. So you have to be pretty quick to adapt. As soon as you get the person who's looking to switch and get off the phone, you have to adapt quickly. That's the key. It's all about listening to the other person. Good morning, Vadim Vilansky calling with Remax. I just listed the home on Summeridge and I'm calling to see if you know of anyone looking to move to the area. How about yourself? Do you guys have any plans to move anytime soon? Thank you so much, have a great day. That's it. That's as simple as it gets. From 100 people that I will talk to, one person will say, yes, we are thinking of moving. But one person, in reality, if I do everything correctly, will translate to a commission. What, whatever the commission is, in your, wherever, wherever you are, doesn't really matter, but the key is to speak to as many people as possible to create a pipeline of potential prospect and just keep on following up with them. Keep on following up with them to see at what point they want to move. Now keep in mind, by one, one phone call will not translate to a cell. You will need to at least speak to them four to five times before they will feel comfortable. So it's not about, hey, I wanna sell your home, let's, let's go on the market. It's about creating a relationship. Speak to them as if they were your parents or your family or your friends and then generate a better relationship and then this will translate to a potential sale. That's it, this is how we do it. Let's keep on going. If you're new to the channel, please make sure you subscribe, give me the like, give me the thumbs up Show us that you care because Google really cares about this stuff. It's not about me, it's Google that wants to see that you guys actually enjoy this content and I'm doing it on a regular basis. I'm sharing with you my experience, someone who went from nothing to building a successful business. That's what I'm up to and this is what I want you to do the same thing. And you will see me cold calling, door knocking on a regular basis because that's what it takes to succeed in this business. Nothing else. Good morning, Vadim Vilansky calling with Ring. Good morning. Vadim Vilansky calling. I just listed the home on Summeridge and I'm calling to see if you know of anyone looking to move to the area. What about yourself, guys? Do you guys have any, move, any plans to move from Seabreeze? Thank you so much. Have a great day. Thanks so much. My pleasure. That's it. She's not looking to move. Perfectly fine. Let's move to the next content. So I got a message right now asking, do people ever swear at me? It happened only once. And all I said was, have an amazing day and you move on. You let it go. Of it. Now, if you're new to cold calling to this business, you will think that this is difficult. And I will... Good morning, Vadim Vilensky calling with Remax. I just listed the home on Summerage and I'm calling to see if I can be of any service to you. You're very welcome, have a great day. Thank you so much. Thanks, bye-bye. She doesn't mean it. It's perfectly fine. Now, if you're new to the business and you don't have any listings, what I would do in your shoes, and this is what I did two and a half years ago when I got to the business, I went on the on realtor.ca or realtor.com, whatever website you're using, I picked up some sort of main street listing that is nearby my farm and I started calling the homes around it. Why did I do it? Pretty... Good morning, Vadim Vilansky calling with Remax. I just listed the home on Summeridge, calling to see if I can be of any service to you this year. My, for selling real estate, I know you guys are at Seabreeze, you guys have any plans to potentially, what about buying an investment property? No, thank you so much, have a great day. That's it, no. So anyways, I would go to a major street and I would just look at a recently listed home and I will be calling the homes around it. My goal was to speak to 100 people. And ever since I got into the business, the goal was always to speak to as many people as possible. 
I set up a goal of 100 contacts. That kind of helps me understand that this is the number I need to reach on a daily basis and I work towards it. Jeff just asked me, why not 50? You can start with 50, but I realized, hello, good morning. Vadim Vilansky calling with Remix. I just listed the home on Summerage, calling to see if I can be of any service to you this year. I, se I sell real estate. My name is Vadim Vilansky. I work in Torhill Woods and I just listed the home on Summerage, calling to see if I can be of any service to you and ask you if you know of anyone looking to move to the area. Thank you so much. Have a great day, Miss Kim. So anyway, so what I was saying is that if you don't have contacts, you can still, and the key is 50, I realized with using Mojo, I was able to reach 50 pretty quickly. So I needed to kind of just push that to the next snap bar, which was speaking to about 100 people. So I went from 50 to 75 to 100. You always try to challenge yourself. And if in my first year, I generated 50 transactions. In the following year, I wanted to generate 75. In the third year, I wanted to generate 100. So I said to myself, to reach that number, I had to change something in my business. And this is how I went from 50 to 75 to 100, was pushing myself to that next limit to increase the contacts, to increase my door knocking time, and that's how you yield even more business. Stay with me. I am going to generate a listing appointment today, guaranteed, because this is what my mindset is when I'm on the phone is, I need to generate an appointment. So I just got a message saying, asking what kind of appointment? It's either a listing appointment or it's an appointment that will be basically What's your home is worth? So my appointment is going to be, let me share with you what's the value of your home. Because again, this is what we have to do. We are as professionals, we have the knowledge and we would like to share it with you. I will go out there and I will provide them with this information. And the key is, this is how you create relationships. You want to be able to meet with them face to face. And I'm all about meeting face to face, belly to belly as they say. Hello, good, good morning, Vadim Vilansky calling with Remax. I just listed the home on Summerage and I'm calling to see if you know of anyone looking to move to the area. What about you guys? Do you guys have any plans to potentially buy an investment property? Thank you so much, have a great day. Thanks so much, bye-bye. That's it, I ask, I ask a few great questions. She says no, moving on. It's that simple. Guys, if you have any questions, comment below. I'm going to continue, but I will let you go, enjoy your day, have an amazing day, and you know how to reach me, either email, phone number, pretty easy. I'm always available for you guys at any given time. So have an amazing day, I'm back to the phone, and let's get it done. Have an awesome day.